morning, Julie. How are you, honey? Good. Thank you. <laughs> say bye. <laughs> say hi to the vlog. Hello. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for joining me in this week's vlog. This week, we're gonna go ahead and winterize the GTR and get it ready for uh, winter storage. As you've noticed, overnight we just got just dumped on by uh, a crap load of snow. Um, typical Alberta weather, you guys. A lot of the Subi guys are just loving it right now. They call it Subi weather. I'm pretty sure they're just out there just burning it up and uh, having some fun. They've probably been waiting for it for a while and anticipating for that big snowfall and it's finally got it. So while they're having fun out there, we're gonna have some fun inside here and uh, Let's get started. So normally the first thing I do when I winterize my or prep the car for uh, winter storage, I fill up the car with a full tank of gas. In the summertime, I normally run on Husky 94, but, but I know Husky has uh, ethanol content and obviously you know ethanol is not good for, uh, uh, I guess, the winter storage because it uh, loves to absorb water. Uh, so for long time or long periods of uh, storage, We'll put in uh, Shell, because Shell doesn't run any kind of ethanol into their fuel. So the next step I do is I change the oil. And to do that, uh, for the GTR, you have to remove the under tray. And I think most of the modern vehicles, uh, there is an under tray that you have to remove. So pretty much similar thing. So there's a whole bunch of clips and a couple of 10 mils. And uh, we'll get access to the oil drain plug and the oil filter. So now that we're under here, you guys, I take a good opportunity to take a look because everything's exposed now to see if there's any leakage or anything like that. So you can always double check. And so far, everything looks pretty good underneath here. And then once I take the bolt off, which is a 14 mil, take that off. And then we're just going to drain the oil out. So while the oil is draining, a good habit that I have is I like to go around and double check all the torque specs. I know it's a daunting task, but it'll save you a lot of headaches and hassles. In my previous vlogs, you guys, if you noticed that I did all the uh, bushings and the control arms and stuff like that. So right now I'll go around and double check all the torque specs. Uh, it's a little bit of time, but you know what? I have a lot of downtime now that um, the car's on the hoist. I'll go and double check everything, make sure all the torques are torqued down properly, anything's loose. Um, it can save you a lot of hassle, you guys. So up next on the oil change process is removing the oil filter. So the oil filter should be on snug. You shouldn't have any problems removing it if it's done properly. You should be able to loosen it with your hand. There you go. I don't drive my car often, you guys, you know, I don't put a whole lot of mileage on it. But it's a good habit to uh, change your oil, especially if you're running on high boost or uh, modified. Change it mo more often. What do you guys think? They say synthetic oil can last you over 10,000 miles, you guys. Do you believe that? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't trust it. Like BMW, I think now they said it's good up to 20,000 kilometers annually. I would never leave my car over 20,000 kilometers. That's just crazy. Leave a comment below, you guys. What do you guys think? Is that, uh, is that just, I don't know. But you know what, it's under warranty, so it's not much you can uh, be scared of, I guess, eh? If they say 20,000, you just 20,000. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the oil filter, but make sure you uh, prime or lube the uh, O-ring around the filter before you uh, slap it back on. I forgot to mention I did uh, while the oil filter is off take the opportunity to clean around the oil filter plug and the uh, oil filter hole here make sure it's all nice and clean around it so once you get it on nice and tight nice and snug with your hands just give it about a quarter of a twist and that's it make sure it's all seated down and uh, we're good to go. Once the oil starts to just slowly start dripping, you're ready to uh, put the oil drain plug back on. Just make sure you double check and uh, inspect the plug, it's good, and the new O ring is on. And 
or sorry, the new gasket is on and then we're good to go. And for you guys that are technical, the torque spec for the GTR is roughly 22 to 26 pounds uh, to torque it down. It's a Motul 300V. So far, it's uh, working out fantastic for me, you guys, and I've been pretty happy with it, you guys. I pay a little more for it, but I get a lot more for it. So, uh, highly recommend you guys. It's not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. I don't get paid by Motul. So, if you guys want to sponsor me, hit me up, you guys. Motul. So, what I've done in the past is I connected my car to a trickle charger. Uh, C-Tech and for some reason the battery still died it didn't last too long so what I was told is to unplug the terminals from the battery and take the battery right out so instead of taking the battery out I'm just going to disconnect the two battery the two terminals and then go from there hopefully the battery will last a lot longer and uh, won't die on me so for winter storage guys don't forget to uh, disconnect the battery all right guys so the final step in winterizing my gtr would be swapping out the t37s for the stock rims uh, the reason why i do that is so that i don't get a flat spot um, if i get a flat spot on the stock tires it's not not a big deal and then that gives me opportunity to clean up the t37s and keep them mint for uh, next season All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this week's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, just give you guys a little bit of insight on winterizing or how I winterize in my GTR for uh, winter storage every year. But I uh, just want to share with you guys a little bit of a little lug nut like this. Brings a lot of uh, sentimental value and memories of my trip to Japan with my wife and family. Uh, loved it, enjoyed it, you guys. Highly recommend going to Japan and definitely hit up Mines Performance Shop. All you guys probably know, all you GTR guys would know, they are a famous tuner um, shop in Japan. But uh, all you guys that have subscribed, thank you guys. Thank you for the support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button guys, turn on the notification and for more great content. Big announcement for the upcoming uh, month of December. I'm pretty excited for that you guys and I'd like to share with you guys. We'll see you guys in the next week vlog. See ya.